How's it going guys? Jaxer here and today I'm going to make a very quick video showing you how you can use VR in iRacing. Um, it didn't always used to be this easy, hence why this is going to be a very short video, but they've made it incredibly easy now. Before I get into it, I just want to say that I'm using the MetaQuest 3. And with this headset, it is very important that you need to use the link cable. I spent quite a long time trying to find cables that were cheaper than the link cable to say the least. Um, even everything that was advertised as a 3.0 um, USB-C to USB-C, lightning fast, it just couldn't do it. It couldn't get this tick to go green. Now, it's not going green because I don't have it on. I'll turn it on real quick. Let me see if I can get her to go. There we go, it's doing something. Anywho, when you connect it, you wanna make sure that this tick here turns green which means that you're getting five gigabits per second um, very very important so you click down here do your USB test test your connection everything should go fine it should show that you have a very high bit rate if not it'll show something like 300 megabits per second that'll give you crazy delay lag all this kind of stuff so make sure whatever you headset you're using uh, or if you are using this headset make sure you're using an appropriate cable one that supports very high data transfer because the higher the data transfer, the lower the input delay. And I have to say, with this three gigabits per second here that I'm getting at the moment, there's not much lag. There's a tiny bit, but it's like the same as if you were using a television. Once you have it set up here, you put your headset on and then you click down in the settings and then you enable Quest Link. Make sure it is with the cable and not the Air Link. And then you come into iRacing. Now, if you've been on iRacing before, you won't get a pop-up. If it's your first time, you'll get a pop-up saying, what would you like to use? And would you like us to ask you every time you join a game, which uh, device would you like to use for output? Most people turn that off. So it's up here, Oculus, or if you're using any other kind of software, but in this, in this case, we're using the Oculus. You click here, next time you join a race, and if you're in Quest Link mode, which means that it's kind of in a white desktop, waiting to be told what to do, you join up, and then that's it. You're in. Very, very simple. Super, super easy. There's only one other thing that's very important to do. And I'm actually gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so for this last part, very simple. We're gonna come into the settings, or the options. Go to control, scroll all the way down to the bottom, recenter HMD. This is the button, basically. You hold onto your wheel, you look straight, naturally straight, not wherever the camera's pointing at the time. Look dead straight, press the button, and it'll recenter you. If you want and you feel like you're too close or too far, it's kind of counterintuitive, but put your head forward a bit and then recenter. Or if you feel like you're too close or you're too far, put your head back a bit, recenter, and then your natural position will be brought forward. So that's kind of a handy tip. You can you can choose where you want to recenter if you just kind of think about where your head's sitting when you recenter it. So Really important button this, but apart from that, that's it. When you join iRacing in VR, you now I'm obviously not in VR at the moment, it's easier to show you when I'm not in it. Um, all your settings are gonna be under a VR kind of file, where in display, oh, that's not very practical, where in VR, you will have your own file, and I'll show you that now. iRacing, where are we? Here. So this is your file for your own settings. If you're running triple screens, if you're running single screens, whatever graphic settings you've made are all in here. And when you flip that Oculus switch that I showed you earlier, this guy here, these are the settings you're gonna call on. So you can have two different settings for two different devices, which makes a lot of sense because using the VR does take up a lot of um, juice. It has to render quite a lot more info. Um, so it'd be understandable if you wanna have two different um, graphic settings but pretty much that's it set up oculus and iRacing up here make sure to recenter hmd have that um set in your settings and be aware that you do have two separate graphic files so feel free to customize them as you need to because one won't affect the other but uh, yeah very simple old video today how did you get that done if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below and hopefully i can let you know but uh, yeah thanks for watching